Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. It's Nextillion. Uh, making another video today about Cyber Hunter. Uh, this video is going to be about how to optimize Cyber Hunter to run as smooth as possible and to be as snappy as possible. So you can uh, get those quick reactions, the uh, abilities popping off when you want them to be popping off. And uh, just to try and squeeze a little bit extra performance out of the game and yourselves, really. Um, this is, however, only for NVIDIA users. So this is for PC players who are using NVIDIA graphics cards. So sorry, mobile players. Uh, uh, and anyone on PC or anyone else that's not using NVIDIA. This is strictly for NVIDIA users. Okay, so let's get straight into it. So first of all, you need to make sure that you've got your NVIDIA drivers installed. So, um, yeah, you want to open up NVIDIA GeForce Experience. Uh, if you don't have NVIDIA GeForce Experience installed, then you need to go to Google, type in GeForce Experience Download, and download the uh, download the driver, and install it. No, not the driver, just download the GeForce Experience, and uh, install it and run it. Then we, we open it up here, you got it, and then we're clicking on Drivers over here. We want to make sure that we have the uh, most up-to-date drivers, so we'll click uh, check for updates. Uh, I've got the latest uh, drivers. If you do not, then you want to install them, or download them, install them, restart your computer, come back to the video, and then we'll carry on from here. Okay, so once we've got the uh, up-to-date drivers, we don't need that anymore. We want to go to the desktop, right click on the desktop and open up NVIDIA control panel okay so we are going to go through here from top to bottom we'll start with the 3D settings and adjust image settings uh, you're going to want to select this middle one use the advanced 3D image settings okay so select that then at the bottom right we're going to click apply Wait for it to be applied, and then we'll go to the next one. Okay, this is the most important one. Um, yeah, this is where the, uh, all of the performance is going to come from, or well, most of it in this video. Um, you can uh, make a global settings selected here, but I like to go game by game. So you want to head over to the program settings here, and we want to select the drop down list and we're going to find client.exe if it's not in there then you can click add and you can find your install directory of cyber hunter and you're looking for the client.exe file once you've done that uh, we'll go through it okay so we're going to start off with the image sharpening now you want to select this to on and you want your sharpen to be at 0.5 and your ignore film grain to be at 0.17 that should be set to that by default uh, when you turn it on but if it's not these are the numbers that you want uh, anti-sotropic filtering is going to be application controlled fxaa is going to be off uh, gamma correction is on mode is going to be application controlled as well as settings will be application controlled oh wait what have i done there yeah um, transparency will be off uh, background application max frame rate will be off uh, gpu cuda cores will be on all you want to select your graphics card and select them to all you want to be using all those CUDA cores. Uh, here's a good one. This should get you some a bit, a bit, a bit of snap to your game. Low latency mode. You want to switch this to on. Um, if you've got like a really low end computer, you could set it to ultra. But for medium to high end, I recommend setting that to on. 
uh, max frame rate. Uh, Cyber Hunter caps out uh, at 89 FPS if you're using the max frame rate setting. Uh, so I recommend selecting 89 as your max FPS here. It will keep your game stable and uh, keep it stable and smooth. So there should be no stuttering or anything like that. Uh, monitor, te uh, monitor technology. Uh, if you've got, again, if you're using a lower end uh, computer, you might want to set G-Sync on. But for medium to high end, you just want to have fixed refresh rate. Um, the multi-frame sampled AA is off. Open GL rendering GPU. You want to select your GPU from that menu. Uh, power management mode. You obviously want to have uh, prefer maximum performance. Preferred refresh rate. This will be application controlled. Shader cache will be on. Texture filtering. Anti-sotropic sample optimization will be on. Negative LOD bias will be allow. Quality should be high performance. Trilinear optimization will be on. Threaded optimization auto. Triple buffering off. Uh, vertical sync use the 3D application setting. And uh, virtual reality is just one. That's irrelevant. And then, as always, don't forget to apply at the bottom. Wait for that to get applied. And we shall move on to the next one. Okay. Configure your surround physics. You want to just go to the physics setting on the right, the processor, and uh, select your graphics card that you're using. Click that, and once again, click the apply button. Uh, okay, now we're going to go to resolution here. Um, me personally, I have a 1920 by 1080, 24.5 uh, inch, 360 hertz monitor. Obviously, everyone's got different monitors. Um, uh, so my uh, aspect ratio is a 16 by 9. But if we go to the Cyber Hunter, control, uh, Cyber Hunter folder and open up the Neox folder, you can scroll down here to render, and you can see that this game is rendered at a 4 by by free aspect ratio, uh, which means that if you're using anything other than a four point uh, four by three aspect ratio, the game is going to be uh, not as smooth, should we say? It's going to be like it's it's not going to be uh, how the game is created to be. Um, uh, for me. If I wanted to put a three, uh, four, by, four by three aspect ratio into my 16 by nine aspect ratio monitor, the highest I could do to make it look good would be uh, 1440 by 1080. I could select that, click apply, and then go down to, uh, would you like to keep these changes? No, I would not like to keep those changes go down to adjust desktop size and positioning and then you would want to select full screen here what that would do is it would take the four by three aspect ratio of the game and apply it to your desktop then you would have black lines going down the side of your monitor and then you could click here to make it full screen and you could apply so it would stretch that so you could get the resolution of the game but it would be stretched to fit your monitor so you would actually get how you would get the game uh, running how it's supposed to um, if these uh, options aren't uh, available to you then what you need to do is you need to go to manage 3d settings here you need to go to global settings click on image sharpening here and then you want to disable the gpu scaling here i'm going to put that back on and, and then you obviously apply remember to apply your screen should uh, flash a couple of times keep the changes 
and then when you come back to adjust the desktop size it should be all selected uh, uh, it should be all open for you to now uh, change but again you want to change your resolution to uh, for a 1920 by 1080 or 16 by 9 monitor uh, to try and fit a 4 by 3 you would do a 1440 by 1080 as the change resolution then jump down to here and you want to set it to full screen and then apply and um, for anyone wondering what that would do is it would basically make your character in game like on the like this imagine this folder is your character it would make your character when you zoom in your character would go here so you could see a massive amount a lot of the so-called sweaty people uh, abuse this to their advantage so they can have uh, a really a, re a lot of data on their screen where especially you, with the game every character is right-handed so and with the right uh, right hand wall exploit where you can shoot through the right hand uh, uh, obstacles you want as much right hand vision as possible so doing this resolution with this the, the way the game is it will give you the the most uh, advantage and a lot of people will see it you can you see it on youtube and twitch you see people using it they've got different resolutions and that's the reason why it gives them the strongest right hand uh vision as possible uh so yeah that's that uh adjust colors now, this is nothing to do with performance but I, i'd like to put a little bit of 10 percent on it. it starts at 50 i put it to 60 just to so the screen pops a little um what else have we got let me just double check is there anything else uh ah yeah g-sync for again for low-end computers maybe you would want to enable g-sync but for medium to high-end computers you just want this disabled and and that's that uh yeah i'm pretty sure that's it oh wait is the yeah that's it i mean if you want your colors to pop this is nothing to do with uh it's a sidebar, but it's just my personal preference. You go to change resolutions, sc scroll down, click uh, use NVIDIA colors, and then make sure it's full, and then apply. That just makes the game pop a little bit more. Uh, but there you go. The main things for performance is in here. I've got already gone over them. Uh, and also, I went over the resolution, which will give you a really strong right-hand peak uh, which is a really massive advantage in my opinion, but I just don't like it. Uh, I don't think it's kind of exploitative and it's just awkward. I don't like it, but a lot of people do like it. But there you go. That's uh, a number of ways that you can inc increase the performance of your Cyber Hunter game. Okay, guys. Uh, if you've got any questions, there might be something I missed. Probably, I'm probably, I always miss something, but ah, what are you going to do? Uh, yeah, if you've got any questions, just uh, hit me up in the in the YouTube comments and I'll try and reply. Uh, all right, guys, take care, much love.